Welcome back to Mary Class. Quincy. What is Quincy? It is a collection of pus in the peritonsular axis giving appearance of unilateral palatal bulge. It is also called as peritonsular abscess, most common head and neck infection in young adults. It was first described in 14th century. Clinical anatomy. Peritonsular space consists of loose connective tissue between the fibrous capsule of palatine tonsils medially. Etiology Group A beta hemolytic streptococcus, staphylococcus, pneumococcus, hemophilic organisms, rarely lactobacillus and filamentous forms like actinomyces and micrococcus may be present. Pathophysiology it starts with exudative tonsillitis that results in peritonsillar edema and erythema, also known as peritonsillar cellulitis. Later, subsequent formation of microabscesses within the tonsillar crypts are seen. This leads to coalescence of pus within the tonsillar capsule. This leads to spontaneous rupture of the abscess, which is quincy. Clinical features it is unilateral swelling of the peritonsillar area, a bulge on the unilateral soft palate is seen, displacement of the uvula to another side, cervical lymphadenopathy, and limited mouth opening, that is the trismus of the muscles. Symptoms are extreme pain, odinophagia, hot potato voice or muffled voice, reduced mouth opening, Trismus, ipsilateral otalgia, fever, and sore throat. Lab investigations, complete blood count, that is the CBC and electrolytes should be done. Heterophile antibody test is to rule out infectious mononucleosis. Pus culture sensitivity from needle aspirate of the abscess. C-reactive protein blood culture for patients presenting with features of sepsis. Radiologic investigations. X-ray of the soft tissue of the neck. Contrast enhanced CT is required in very young patients. Intraoral ultrasound is proposed to differentiate peritonsillitis from a peritonsillar abscess. Diagnosis. Confirmatory step is guarded needle aspiration of the swelling. The presence of pus confirms the diagnosis of Quincy. A proper incision is needed at the most prominent bulge, which should be opened with forceps to drain out the pus. Treatment Surgical incision and drainage is the main treatment. Analgesics and antipyretics are given to relieve pain and fever. And Quincy tonsillectomy. Now, what are the indications for Quincy tonsillectomy? The possibility of a subclinical contralateral peritonsillar abscess being present. Patients not responding to intravenous antibiotic treatment and incision and drainage procedure for the peritonsillar abscess. Complications. Parapharyngeal abscess. Retropharyngeal abscess. Laryngeal edema leading to airway compromise and sepsis. Prognosis is excellent. However, in airway obstruction, delay in treatment is seen. To summarize, Quincy is a collection of pus in the peritonsillar space giving appearance of unilateral palatal bulge. We study the etiology, the pathophysiology and clinical features, and the symptoms like hot potato voice, pain, sore throat and fever. We study the lab investigations and radiologic investigations in detail, the diagnosis and prognosis of Quincy, the treatment along with indications for Quincy tonsillectomy, and the complications. You can find the link to the MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video, we hope you liked it and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for any updates regarding our further videos. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.